What a day to be alive. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to it, my name is Paul, your weird host. Today, we are gonna go underwater. And what better place to do that than at the Gold Falls? A lot of people leave comments saying uh, I should go under the Gold Falls and see what I find there. And I couldn't before because for one, I didn't have a wetsuit or anything. And for two, I didn't have the camera to go, to go underwater. Today I do, I have my wetsuit. I don't have my air tanks or my regulator or nothing like that. So I can't go deep underwater, but I can go float around and see what we can find. I do have a new GoPro. So now we should be able to film some cool stuff underwater. Now allow me to teleport there so we can quickly get started. <laughs> Look at it, look at all the bedrock. We got a drone pilot here. <laughs> now let me get changed. Let's go! Okay, I'm out of the water, obviously. I am freezing. It's time to go home and uh, show you the gold. <sighs> so it's been almost a week now. Um, I got sick. 
I wonder why. And uh, I'm doing the video now because I feel better and I'm a lot warmer now. The GoPro I was using, it kept dying while I was in the water and I wouldn't notice it until I'd go back outside and uh, do jumping jacks and warm up. So I just noticed how much footage I was missing, but whatever. Um, here's the gold. I actually did a lot better than I thought I would, just like last time. Um, I did find a couple good pockets of gold, but of course, the camera was not working. And look, we even managed to pick up some garbage. Some lead, iron, and a nail. Now, before I weigh the gold, I just have to say that uh, working underwater in BC um, is in a gray area. Um, I just received this, so I'm not really sure exactly what the rules are. But they don't say that you're not allowed to work underwater. But at the same time, they don't say that you are allowed to work underwater. So for that reason, I do not recommend anybody who's watching this video who lives in British Columbia to go out and work crevices underwater and whatnot because you may get yourself in trouble. I may be in trouble. So for that reason, please don't do it. Without further ado, let's weigh the trash I so kindly picked up. Oh, there's a piece of gold down there with it. 7.1 grams of garbage. Now for the gold. I think that's it. Zero. Nice, okay. 0.65 grams. So 0.65 grams of gold is wonderful in my case, considering I never really get that high unless I find a picker or I find a nugget or I snort glue with a metal detector. Uh, I did find this gold underwater, which I'm excited about because it's new for me. But at the same time, I'm going to hold off on that until I hear more about this working underwater gray area type rule thingy. For that reason alone, I do not recommend anybody who lives in BC who is watching this to go out and work underwater because I don't want anybody, including myself, to get in any trouble. As short as this video ended up being, I at the very least hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please let me know by leaving a like, share, or even subscribe. Your subscriptions nor comments never go unnoticed as I read everything. I just may be really slow to respond right now as I am pretty busy. Also, if you did enjoy the video, chances are you're going to enjoy what I have previously posted and what's coming up in the very near future, such as a gold nugget giveaway. I know I keep saying that, but it's official. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.